Chronic kidney disease affects approximately 10% of the world's population. Two million people worldwide suffer from end-stage renal disease, the final stage of chronic kidney disease, and that number is growing. Dialysis is a lifeline for these patients. It's a vital process which works to eliminate waste and unwanted water from the blood that damaged kidneys can no longer do. For patients on dialysis, the treatment regimen is often three to four times a week and may last up to several hours each time. Maintaining the artery to vein fistula that makes dialysis possible is an ongoing challenge. The need for frequent fistula interventions can be frustrating, adding patient hospital time and increasing the burden to the health system. At the end of the day, arteriovenous fistula dysfunction is a real threat to patients receiving uninterrupted dialysis treatment. At Bard, we are stepping forward with leading physicians to address dialysis fistula dysfunction. Combining our experience in stent grafts and PTA balloons, as well as our industry-leading knowledge in drug-coated balloon technology, we initiated the first US IDE study evaluating the use of the Latonix 035 drug-coated balloon for treatment in dysfunctional AV fistula. The Latonix controlled multi-center AV clinical trial was a prospective randomized study that looked at a variety of upper extremity dysfunctional AV fistulae, ultimately resulting in the Latonix 035 DCB being the first drug-coated balloon in the U.S. to receive FDA approval for this important indication. Treating the stenosed AV fistula first requires pre-dilatation of the target lesion. The Latonix 035 DCB is then advanced to the site and delivers a therapeutic dose of paclitaxel to the vessel wall. Paclitaxel has been shown to effectively inhibit cell proliferation. The Lutonix 035 drug-coated balloon PTA catheter is the first FDA-approved DCB for dysfunctional AV fistulae, helping clinicians deliver positive results and reduce interruption of life for their patients. BARD, advancing lives and the delivery of healthcare.